This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're going to take a look at the new Magneto Toolkit. Now, this Magneto that you're looking at here, we're on the beta server, but it's a copy of the Magneto that I have on the live server. You can see he's naturally SIG 60 and he's rank 4. I took him up using a rank up gem back in the day when I used to use him a lot in uh, crit teams. People laughed at me then. They're not laughing so much now. So let's take a look uh, real briefly at him. Uh, in his current state here, all right, you can see the uh, tags that he has on him. He's a villain, uh, medium size, and he specializes in damage over time. And let's take a look here at his attributes. Okay, block proficiency is decent. It's not great, but it's decent. That crit rating is, is pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Uh, and keep in mind, he can be used in crit teams still. All right, now let's take a look at his synergies. These are some new synergies. And let me tell you, when I look at synergies, I don't just look at what the synergy does. I also look at who the synergy is with and what are the chances I'm gonna bring this person to my team? Will it make a really good team? And is the synergy worth it? So this first synergy, first off, I see uh, a couple of champions that would not be bad to have on the team anyway. Guillotine 2099 especially, uh, Mojo, even though he needs a high SIG, uh, but I could see them being on the team. Uh, Wolverine recently uh, was added as a five star. Uh, not all that great, of course, you know, no big damage there, but not the worst to bring on to your team. And Modoc, eh, he was fun. All right, but anyway, that first one, uh, while fighting metal champions, those are champions that have the metal tag. Uh, special attacks gain 15% attack rating and cost 15% less power. So that means he's going to hit harder with his specials and he's going to be able to fire more specials. Okay. Now the next one here, my brotherhood, and I'm looking down here, juggernaut. No, we're not bringing him anywhere. Uh, but magic, I could see that. Uh, Scarlet Witch is also recently as a five star, but I do not know anything about her, uh, whether she is still, you know, queen. And then you have Sabretooth who recently got a synergy with uh, Sasquatch that made him uh, far better than he is currently. So not bad, not bad uh, in terms of synergy partners. Uh, knocking the opponent down has a 100% chance to inflict a 12 second heal block debuff. So this is giving Magneto some utility. He can heal block. Okay, and we, we're probably going to test that out, uh, not in this video, but in subsequent videos. You know, I'll go through Realm of Legends and fight uh, that Wolverine and see how well this does. Now, um, the next one, right off the bat, Doom. He is welcome on my team any day, but I do not have a five-star or a six-star Doom. Uh, while fighting hero champions, champions with the hero tag, Special attacks gain 15% attack rating and gain a cruelty buff lasting 14 seconds, which increases the critical damage rating. I mean, and increases the critical damage rating by 800. So it does two things. You get that cruelty buff and you get the critical damage uh, rating buff as well. Next one, I see you. My Archangel, first uh, five star that I took to rank four. And uh, I also see uh, Emma Frost. Two of them I could see uh, bringing onto a team and making a pretty strong team. Night Thrasher, not so much. He would need to be with Darkhawk, High Sig. Uh, Phoenix, she's fun, but I don't see myself bringing her as a uh, teammate. And then you have Nemesis. We've got... Cyclops, and then we have a mystery synergy. Hmm, should be interesting. I have my guesses, but I won't guess. 
but that's a 6% attack increase. The next one, uh, decent champions here. Old Man Logan just got a rework, so he's actually pretty good. Um, a lot of people don't talk too much about him because he was reworked at the same time as uh, Colossus. And the Colossus rework was better. But that didn't make his rework worse. It just, I mean, uh, it didn't make his rework not good, just that it wasn't as good as the Colossus one. Uh, Rivals increased the uh, critical damage. Uh, Storm and uh, Red Cyclops and another mystery. Hmm. Uh, Mutant Agenda. Omega Red, welcome on any team. Uh, Sunspot, also good. Uh, that's going to increase the special attack damage for mutants. And then uh, we've got uh, Magic. Now, this will increase armor rating, but she also is part of this synergy up here, My Brotherhood. So you bring Magic and you're going to get the My Brotherhood synergy as well as this synergy, okay? And then Wolverine, same thing, but with critical rating. And then you have down here, Nemesis, 6% uh, attack from the Cyclopses. And finally, Storm, also part of another synergy, critical damage rating. So you still have a nice crit, you know, damage team, and uh, looks like you can make a nice team uh, around Magneto, all right? So now let's take a look at his abilities and we will rank him up uh, to five and uh, play around with him there. But right now he's what he looks like on my account currently. All right. So when attacked, Magneto's mutation reaches his omega level, preventing him from losing more than a certain amount of health from any single damage source, excluding da uh, damage from a special three. So when it says excluding, I want to make sure people understand, you know, you might push somebody to a, a special three and then you take a lot of damage and you're wondering why it's because this is not helping him tank that special three. This is from other damage from a single source. So if they do multiple, you know, you're still going to get uh, hurt, but he is very tanky as you will see. Uh, he also gains critical resistance and block penetration. Now critical resistance is a big budget item because that is where a lot of damage is dealt through crits. So being crit resistance is basically going to make him tanky. Okay. And he has block penetration. So he's going to do more damage through block. And then magnet, this attribute bonus is increased by 100%. So when he is, uh, has them magnetized, Heavy attacks now deal a burst of damage. Woohoo! All right. Now, magnetism. When fighting metal champions, uh, they suffer an indefinite magnetized passive, which is applied one second after the start of the fight. Now, you might wonder why one second after the start of the fight. That is most likely to counter some of these champions that, you know, like Blade, you know, once you enter the fight, he starts turning off things. You know, that's when all of that danger sense stuff is applied. So by delaying it a little bit, it'll bypass some of those types of abilities that trigger right when the fight starts. All right. Um, minus 70% ability accuracy and 105% regeneration rate. Very nice. So He's got a lot of utility against metal champions. I mean, he is crazy against them. Uh, Magneto's abilities gain special magnet bonuses. Okay, so when he's fighting metal champions, that's when you're going to see that magnet bonus in effect. And you see it throughout his abilities. Those are for when he's fighting a metal champion. All right, so Mag uh, Magneto's attacks deal energy damage instead of physical. They always did. Uh, and you would know that if you try to fight against Human Torch. Don't do it. Um, incom incoming bleed and shock debuffs suffer 90% potency. Now, that is powerful. Just like with Omega Red, that means better than being immune, he is going to still have the debuff. So willpower, if you have it, will heal. And if you put at least one point in coagulate, 
he's not going to take any damage at all and you're going to just heal up. So he is now suicide friendly because that bleed from your suicides, if you went with double edge, is going to heal you up instead. So he's already going to be tanky. And now because of this, he's going to heal up a little bit. Same thing with um, Omega Red, same thing with Corvus. Okay, now these last three are when he's fighting metal champions. Um, he will get a 50% perfect block chance. So he is going to take even less damage from uh, champions that are magnetized. He's going to have an increased attack rating and his attacks cannot be auto blocked or missed. So Ghost uh magneto's gonna tear her up okay she was already not that great of a counter for him because the phase could fail but now you really don't want to fight magneto with ghost uh you can but i wouldn't recommend it all right so now again this magnet when they're magnetized uh ignores class disadvantage during fights where magneto has a class disadvantage he removes his attack penalty and his opponent loses their attack bonus so he more than neutralizes uh this class disadvantage he just erases it and let me tell you that's going to be very very useful because if i remember correctly it's tech that he has a class disadvantage with normally and those are the ones that have a lot of hashtag metal champions in them but <laughs> now He's going to eat him for lunch. All right. So when he knocks an opponent down, he gains an indefinite prowess buff, which is removed after Magneto's next special attack. But it grants 20% damage to that special attack. And you can stack this up five times. So uh, in the video to come, you'll see I'll try to knock them down five times, get that max, and then fire off a special to get you know, big boy damage. And you'll see here that magnet, so if they're magnetized, you don't have a limit. Wow, that's gonna be fun. When charging a heavy attack, uh, his force field grants him an unstoppable buff during the attack. So even if he gets struck, it's not gonna interrupt the heavy, but it will put it into a cooldown for 14 seconds. But if they're magnetized, it's shortened by 10 seconds. Now, the way that I read that, shortened by 10 seconds, uh, that means to me that it's going to be a four-second cooldown. All right? Don't uh, quote me on that, but that's how I understand that. Now, if you hold the heavy attack for 0.7 seconds, then you have a chance, 100%, to gain a prowess buff. Okay? That lasts 10 seconds. Those are the shorter ones, granting 5% special attack damage. And you can stack these up to 40. So in addition to the other where you don't have a stack limit, you can get pretty big boy damage. And we're going to try. We're going to try and do it. All right. So also when they're magnetized, enhance bleed. So personal bleed debuffs are upgraded into shrapnel bleeds, which inflict physical damage when they end. So it's sort of like Havoc where he has a little detonation at the end of the bleed. Nice. Uh, this also means that he synergizes pretty well with uh, Deep Wounds. Uh, you want to max out Deep Wounds if you're going to be playing him a lot uh, to his fullest. Uh, if the opponent is immune to a bleed debuff, it inflicts uh, an armor break, reducing the armor. So uh, a question that a lot of people would have is, well, okay, that's fine. If he's fighting Metal Champions and um, their bleed, you know, they can be bled. But what if he's fighting a bleed immune metal champion? Well, they get an armor break and he still does really good damage. All right, so here are his special attacks. Special attack one, 100% chance to inflict a bleed. So if you've been playing for a while, you remember when Magneto got a nerf and we all wondered what in the world were they thinking? It wasn't like he was this overpowered champion. Uh, at the time, he had a chance, just a chance, not even a 100% chance. He had a chance to put a bleed on his special one. And it was on the, um, I forget, because it was a two-part uh, attack on his special one. And he had a chance to inflict a bleed on each of the parts. And they nerfed it 
so that he only had a chance to bleed on one of the parts of the special one. And we all just shook our heads because by this time, there were much better champions and not a lot of people were using Magneto for anything. And we were like, that just seemed like a, you know, nonsensical uh, nerf. But now he has a 100% chance to inflict a bleed and it does big boy damage. All right, as we'll see. Uh, if the opponent has an armor break, then inflict an additional bleed. And you can put an armor break on them even if they're not um, bleed immune. And then if they're magnetized, it inflicts an additional bleed. He really rips up those uh, metal champions. Special attack two. Uh, this is a 100% chance to inflict an armor break. So one rotation that you might want to do is fire off the special two, get an armor break up, and then fire off that special one, and you'll do some big boy damage. Okay. Um this armor break does not stack, but is reapplied each time Magneto gains a prowess effect. So when you read up earlier, uh, he gains prowess with that heavy attack charging. So you fire the special two off, you have an armor break. And if you just keep charging your heavy, you'll gain prowess and it'll reapply so that you can keep it going indefinitely. All right. Um, and if they're magnetized, this debuff triggers when the special attack is launched. Nice. Special attack three, now this is the real big boy damage, as you will see. Uh, if the opponent is a hero champion, 100% chance to gain a 30 second fury, debu uh, fury buff that gives him a lot more damage. Uh, if they're magnetized, then 100% chance to gain a 30 second fury. Um, and I'm not sure if those two things stack if he can come out, if they're magnetized, if he gets a um, two fury buffs for uh, 30 seconds, I need to ask about that. And each prowess buff on Magneto has a 70% chance to inflict a bleed debuff. Okay, that's each prowess buff causing direct damage over eight seconds. So the general way that you want to do it is you want to build up his prowess and then launch this special three and watch them melt. All right, so let's go ahead into Realm of Legends. And we are going to play around with uh, Winter Soldier here. And we're not gonna play around too much. Now you can see the team that I went in here with, I tried to activate uh, a bunch of his uh, specials, I mean his uh, synergies. And uh, we're not gonna, do a whole lot in here on this fight because I just want to show what he looks like at rank four. I am most likely going to take him up to rank five. So for this one, what I'm going to do, and you can see he's magnetized. I'm going to um, build up to a special two, fire that off, and then I'm going to charge up my um, heavies a little bit. And then fire off that special one. Okay, so you got the armor break. Okay, got that extra uh, duration. You see the armor breaks up there. See, it got reapplied, as you see. And we've got six prowess right now. Look at that. that that duration, that extra stun duration is awesome. Okay, now we're gonna fire off a special uh, one. Shrapnel bleed. And it is doing some damage. Okay, now, let's go ahead, um, and you got a chance to see the heavy attack. But just look at this damage that he's doing. And we'll take a look at him, uh, you know, ranked up a little bit. All right, so I'm just gonna keep on uh, Trying to build up a little bit here. Build up to a special three. All right. Love that extra um, time on the, uh, the stun off the parry. Very nice. All right, just 36. Perfect damage bonus. 
And let's see what we got. Now, in my mastery setup, I do not have deep wounds. So what you're seeing here is all without deep wounds, but it is with suicides. But just look at that damage. That was some sweet damage. And keep in mind, this is a rank four Magneto. And we're gonna see what he looks like uh, after we rank him up as well. But just look at this. He is definitely a beast right now. Let's build up a little bit more. See? Yeah, one more special three is gonna really take him out. So let me do a special two instead. See the damage that he does with that uh, armor break on him. Reapply it. And he's not taking a whole lot of damage. Very, very, very nice. Look at that. Mm. Finish it with a special two. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so... Pretty impressive as a rank four. Very, very nice. All right, so we are going to rank him up. And I won't make you sit through that. So we'll be right back after I ranked him up. And then we're going to go back in there, do that fight again. And we're going to just try to build up some prowess and uh, do uh, special threes. All right, we're back and he's all ramped up. Let's uh, take a look here. See what his uh, stats look like at uh, 565. See his health up there. And let's take a look here. All right. And let's go ahead and max out his SIG. I'm going to use these since they're nice and fast. And we'll take a look at what that did to his signature ability. Okay, so you can compare uh, this here. It reduced the amount of health. So basically it allows him to uh, prevent more uh, damage. Okay. Now let's go back into Realm of Legends with our newly ranked up 565 and again for you know the big boy damage you want to put some points into deep wounds because having like an extra second or two is huge when he has those kinds of bleeds so for this fight i'm just going to build up to a special three that's all i'm gonna do just keep firing the heavies off. And you can see he's getting those prowesses that max out at five every time I knock him down. And the other prowesses, they, you know, don't last too long. Sometimes he fights really funny, but yeah, <laughs> he, 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 when a soldier fights funny, I think they still have the bug where he is, he's normally passive, but with that bug, he was even more passive than normal. Okay, as long as he's being aggressive like this, we're good. Okay, boom, 40. 40 prowess. Let's see what this big boy damage looks like. Hmm. Ooh, that's some ugly damage. Y'all see this? That is some ugly damage right there, and it's not done. It is not done. Whew, look at that. And it detonated at the end. That is insane. I am liking it. Yeah, he's definitely going up to rank five as soon as I can. Definitely. Um, and it fits my style, too. Now, one of the concerns is whether uh, he's good if you can't get off this heavy like this. You know, if he's fighting a stun immune champion. 
then what? And uh, we'll see. I don't. I don't have the answer to that. Come on. Yep. Boom. Very nice. Very very nice. Okay. That is sweet. All right, guys. That is going to do it for this video. I do have the six star on here ramped up, but I will make a separate video for that one just to kind of keep the length of this video down. Okay, so before we end the video, I want to caution you guys about something. There was a leak of information on Magneto. This should have still been embargoed because they're not done tweaking and changing things around. Uh, this is pretty early. This is not when they had planned to release this information, but because it was leaked, uh, they basically lifted the embargo uh, quicker than they would have. So a lot of us scrambled to make these videos because we weren't planning to make a video on him until much later, closer to an embargo date, which we had not been given yet. That's how early it is. We didn't even have an embargo date yet. Uh, so that is the warning. What you're seeing here, it should be what goes live, maybe 90% of it should go live. They may tweak something here and there. Um, I heard that they might tweak the special three a little bit, but not much. All right, so uh, with that caution, uh, I see him as worthy of a rank five, hands down. Uh, he has bumped up to the top mutants, which is where Magneto should have been from the beginning. All right, so very, very nice. Uh, everybody that has a Magneto, congratulations. You now have a beast and he is worthy to take up to rank five. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day.